Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and if this is your first time visiting then do just take a quick minute now to subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell to get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. In this very quick tutorial I'm just going to show you how to start off using standing stitches. So this is just going to be handy if you're starting out or also if you're just getting into pattern reading and things and they are stating that you need to start with a standing stitch. So that is all that I'm going to show you in this one. I will show you how to do a standing double crochet, a standing half treble and a normal treble and maybe even a double treble as well. Um, obviously those are the UK terminology. I will always leave the US terminology as well out maybe even write it across the bottom of the screen for each stitch that I do so that you don't get confused. So I'm literally just going to start with the smallest stitch. So I'm going to start with a UK double crochet whereas in the US this will be your single crochet. So if your pattern is calling for a standing double or single crochet then this is a really super easy one, let me just zoom in a little bit. So it doesn't matter if you're at the start of a row or if you're working out from the centre in a square or a star or anything like that. All you will do, wherever your standing stitch needs to be, you will find the stitch and you will work through the whole of the stitch. So you'll always work through both loops. And so for a standing double, you will simply insert your hook into whichever stitch is required, like so. And then obviously grab your yarn and pull it up. Oops. And you will have your usual two loops on your hook as you would for when you do a normal double crochet. And then you'll simply yarn over and pull through both, which will create your double. And then you'll be able to carry on along your row doing whatever stitches are required. So that is your standing double slash single crochet. I'll undo those now. And again, we'll move on to the half treble or half double in the US. So again, slip knot on your hook. Work out which stitch you need to be working into. As always, these will go through the whole of the stitch. So for the half treble, you will yarn over once and just use your finger just to hold that securely on your hook. Insert your hook into the desired stitch. Yarn over and pull up. And you'll see now, I'm just going to grab that tail just next to my slip knot just to hold onto it. But you can see now we've got those three loops on the hook. You'll yarn over and pull through all three. And that will give you your standing half treble. And then again, you'll be able to just work along as normal doing your half treble stitches. And your slip knot, if you notice, will always be at the top of your stitch rather than at the bottom. So that's the half treble. So now we'll move on to the treble or the double if you're in the US. So same concept, you will yarn over once and hold. Go through whichever stitch you need. Yarn over and pull up. Again, I'm just going to hold that slip knot so that I can show you your three loops and then just as you would with a normal treble your yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two so there is your standing treble and then as I say you'll be able to work the rest of your trebles so you were also by doing this, if you were changing colour in a project as well, it's much neater than doing your chain three, things like that, because you get a full treble stitch. So you don't get any of the chain three gapping or anything like that. So that is that one. And then finally, so for a double treble, 
you will yarn over once and yarn over twice and then again hold both of those loops just with your finger to steady it. Insert your hook through your stitch, yarn over and pull up and again I always do just with my fingers here hold next to the slip knot it just keeps things nice and tight it means they don't go all a little saggy. So then yarn over, pull through two and then you've got three loops left. Yarn over, pull through the next two and yarn over, pull through the final two and there you have got your double treble which is obviously a super big stitch. Let me just do one in the stitch next to it as well. So there you will have your double treble stitches. But that is how you do your standing stitches. So you've got your double, your half treble, your treble and your double treble in UK terms there. So hopefully this tutorial will have helped you with that. So all you need to remember really is start with your slip knot on your hook and just hold the tail end when you're doing your trebles and things. It just keeps the stitches that much tighter. So that is it for this tutorial. I really do hope that it will have been useful for some of you and I will see you again for another one very soon. Bye for now.